Hello everyone, Slayer here, uh, just going over some basic strategies I think we could use for IMAP, and this one specifically goes over squad usage and where can we apply it. Now, this black uh, sectioned region is out of bounds because I'm going to be representing this on small, this, so this would be Bravo, this would be Charlie. Um, so what I mean by squad placement is where can we place squads effectively so that they can serve their purpose. Well, here's one idea, and I'm using Operation Whiteout as an example. Now, as on most maps, you want the bleed, so you gotta get the trifecta, these three flags. Um, maintain them, you get the bleed. Well, say we only had three squads. Well, you'd say devote one squad to each. But the enemy, of course, would be moving from Delta heavily on Bravo here. So, what you want to do is heavily fortify Charlie. Uh, I mean Bravo, <laughs> sorry. Um, so what I have in mind is what we're going to call a kill squad or a, I don't know, a home guard I guess you could say. These are the guys you send in right away as fast as possible. They secure the site, they hold it until the main army gets there. So uh, I think what we do for this is take the transport chopper. It's fast, easy, and accessible. So you take this right into Charlie here, you drop down on it, and you secure the site, and basically you guys just hold it as long User as possible. Your no matter how many casualties you take, no matter how many times you got to respawn, what you want to do though is get a guy with a beacon out of there ASAP, get that beacon down, and have guys continue to parachute onto that flag. Now in the meantime, if the chopper survives long enough, uh, we would take it down, get to the next flag, drop on there, and the entire time it's dropping we can have reinforcements in the main army get off, go straight into the flag, and that's that's really fast, effective, and that also leaves the two pieces of armor, an MRAP, and whatever means necessary. Of course, at the same time we can use the little bird as a uh, escort for the chopper. Now let me clean this up a bit. Um, this is just a general idea that we could use on almost any map. At the same time, our pieces of armor would be moving up right into support in the main army, and that's when we form a defensive line. Now with the kill squad and the armor and the main army, that's when you just form this huge defensive line uh, defending this flag at all costs. You want to maintain it while the reservation or whatever forces we have available will be getting the third flag. Meanwhile, HCOs and... Uh, key members of other squads will be at the back flag, capping it, securing it. The main thing that we need to focus on is beacons. If we can get beacons up in key locations, for instance here, there, and here, possibly one there, that way we get total map control. If they're coming down the middle trying to flank, bam, spawn there. If they're coming around the top trying to get into Bravo, bam, spawn there. Same thing here and there. Meanwhile, we really need air coverage. That is our main thing. We need someone in the air who can cover it, make sure our transport chopper is doing good. Now, the enemy, of course, if they see guys just jumping right onto Bravo, you know, not with the main force, just like a small squad securing it, they're going to try to do the same. So we need guys who can go in, kill silently. That's the thing about these uh, kill squads. They need silencers. They need to be quick quiet and effective and they need to get that beacon up ASAP ASAP just if they get that beacon up and they establish the link until the main force arrives I think we can hold a key position just like that very fast very effective so I'm going to be trying to get up uh, as many of these strategy type videos as possible um, especially for the new guys so look for them on the war room